So hello there guys, in today's episode I'm going to make one free diphenyl triazine or uh, diazobenzene. So for this we're going to need some buffer, which is going to be sodium acetate, it's anhydrous, aniline, sodium nitrite, and some hydrochloric acid. So firstly I'm going to dissolve up the aniline in this hydrochloric acid it's going to be quite exothermic actually so be careful it's going to create aniline hydrochloride all right so I got some ice here and I'm just going to add the aniline hydrochloride to the ice, as you can see it participated out, but that's uh, not a problem. So I'm now going to prepare a solution of sodium nitrite. Also going to dissolve up the sodium acetate. So now I'm going to add the sodium nitrate solution to this aniline hydrochloride solution over a period of 15 minutes. This is like a standard diazotization. So let's do it. So now we're going to add the sodium acetate solution uh, over about 5 minutes. So as you can see there is a yellow participate forming and that's our product, diazobenzene. So now that I have added the sodium acetate, I'm just going to stir it on, uh, for like 30 minutes and the temperature under 20 degrees Celsius. So I actually employed a magnetic stir bar to do it. So 30 minutes has passed and now I'm going to filter it. So now I'm going to recrystallize uh, this 1,3-diphenyl uh, triazine from some ethanol. So the alcohol started boiling, now I'm going to take it off the heat and drop in the triazine. So it dissolved pretty well and now I'm just going to add a few drops of welter. And I'm going to cool it immediately. 